Welcome to the video series, The Operational Amplifier, From Abstraction to Reality. Manufacturers make multiple op-amps together in the same package. It provides great convenience to the designer. Often, there is an amplifier instance that is unused. Leaving it unconnected is not a good option. Op-amps, like digital devices, are available in single, dual, and quad packages. Sometimes, three op-amps are required, and the fourth is just a vestige. This begs the question, why not use a triple? Turns out, triple op-amp packages are quite rare. I used the Mauser product selector and did a parameter search for three-channel op-amps. That filter resulted in only six part numbers. They were specifically designed for RGB video drivers, which makes sense. Here's a typical application of RGB buffer. Op amps suited for video drivers are not necessarily optimum for other applications. They are more expensive and consume more power. Leaving an unused op amp instance with nothing connected is not a good practice. With no negative feedback, the high input impedance are susceptible to noise and static fields. Generally, the op amp will saturate to one rail or the other, but it could flip to the other state with disturbances at the inputs. All that saturated switching could result in crosstalk to sensitive signals. Simply grounding the inputs would keep them from being susceptible to noise, but no op amp has zero input offset voltages, so this guarantees the op amp will be saturated to one rail or the other. The op amp is likely to draw more current with the output saturated. I've seen where unused op amps were connected this way with the non inverting input tied to the positive rail and the inverting input tied to the negative rail. This guarantees the output will be slammed to the positive rail. I tested this on the bench with an OPA 2277 and it drew over nine times more current than the other configurations. The best way to deal with the unused op amp section is to connect it as a unity gain buffer and set the input to the midpoint between the rails. With a bipolar power configuration, this is easily achieved by connecting the non inverting input to ground. For the single supply configuration, the input needs to be somewhere between the rails. Recall from the video on single supply biasing. We had to artificially create a mid voltage anyway. That mid supply can simply be connected to the non inverting input of the unused op amp configured as a unity gain follower. I think the best solution for the unused section is to use zero ohm resistors for the unity gain follower connection. They can be removed to implement this amplifier section if needed as an extra amplifier for future design changes. An open or set of pads for a resistor makes for a way of connecting the amplifier as an inverting or non-inverting configuration with gain if needed in the future. Here's a layout scheme I came up with to accomplish that many years ago. While I know it was configured for unused sections on real hardware, I don't have any knowledge of anyone reconfiguring it utilize the unused section later. I'll walk through the options this layout has. Here's a setup for the unused section with a single supply. The pads are available to create a V-mid with a resistive divider, or you can route over whatever source you have for V-mid. It's even more simple to set up the unused section with dual supplies, since the non-inverting input just needs a ground connection. This layout helps to facilitate a potential design change to utilize the amplifier section. Here's the case of a non inverting amplifier with feedback resistors RF and RR. You can wire into the pads for the input and output. Same goes with the inverting amplifier having feedback resistors and the non inverting input grounded. These amplifier sections can also be connected for single supply operation. As an alternative, 
the extra amplifier could be used as a buffer, somewhere that is not actually required, but could benefit in performance. It could also be used to provide a buffered test signal output. Thanks for watching. Please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content.